You chose my absolute favorite song. I love that version of See You Again. I dedicated it to my grandpa, so thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Amazing. So I know that last week we talked about how um, the song that you choose has to mean something that every one of you or it doesn't work. So what did this one in particular mean to each of you? Um, it, it meant a lot to each one of us because, um, like he had said, uh, there's, there are um, a lot of senseless uh, murders in our city of Louisville, Kentucky. And then all over the world, there are senseless murders, but not only murders, you know, people are dying every day. And whether you want to dedicate it to you, your grandfather, you want to dedicate it to, to someone's mom or brother or sister, anybody who's lost someone, that song should have a special meaning to. So me personally, it's the ones that I've lost along the way. So everybody has lost somebody along the way. No, that's right. Yeah. Take, took the words out of your mouth. Yes. So um, I would ask you what song you would do next week, but the show is almost over. So um, did it go quickly? Because it went quickly for me. It did. It did. Yes. Super fast. You almost Super didn't fast. want it to be over, but yeah. you want to see who won, and, and we want to win. Yes. Now I hope to see you at the Las Vegas show, but either way, where else would you like to perform? Where else? Um, Anywhere. Anybody, if world. anybody requests Lincoln Bridge to show up, please get in contact with us and we'll be there. Via Facebook. Really? Yeah. So would you perform at my college? Yeah, absolutely. Really? Tell your, um, who, who would it be? Um, the dean. Tell your dean or whoever. Yes. Go to LMU, it's literally 20 minutes from here, 30 minutes. Man, so we'll do it, LMU. We'll show up. Where y'all at? What's up, LMU? That's awesome. Thank you. And of course, that concert could be about inspiring youth. So, um, have you gotten any comments, you know, on Instagram or social media about who you've inspired and whatnot? Oh, good. Oh, man. Children, man. It doesn't stop. We have, we have uh, people send us videos of their children singing the songs with us on the television. They've recorded it, and their and their kids, two and three years old, are knowing the words, and it's crazy. So, you know, that's very inspirational to us. Uh, yeah, gives us uh, countries all over the world, uh, South Africa, uh, places in Europe, the UK, Germany. Brazil. Well, all that's Europe, yeah, but yeah, yeah, man. Australia. I mean, it's just. People are reaching out. You know, really. I'm saying to them and be like, hey, dude, I just got a message from Australia. Well, <laughs> and that's crazy because you're like, you were just, just regular guys. And for you to get messages of inspiration from, from other countries, it's, it's mind blowing. America's got talent, so just to get it in America is amazing, but to get it like all throughout the world, that's incredible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what's the best way we can um, get your attention on Instagram or Twitter? Do you use a specific hashtag or do you like when people tweet you really creepy facts or like take a picture that of you that they when they saw you in Starbucks on Hollywood Boulevard? What's the best way? <laughs> at, at Lincoln Bridge. Uh, you can get us get us individually, or you can get at Lincoln at Lincoln Bridge on Twitter, uh, on Instagram, on Facebook. Um, Echo Alexander, E K O E. China Lacy. China Lacy. Rome Kimbrough. Rome Kimbrough. Montre Davis. We're we're on all of those social media outlets. Awesome. Well, then I'm definitely gonna tweet this interview to you, and please retweet it. Will you retweet it for me? Absolutely. <laughs> Most yes. Huge congratulations, and whatever happens, I'm, we're all beyond proud of you, and um, I'll see you at LMU, hopefully this school year. That'd be nice. Thank you. Always. Bye.